In this snippet, I'm going to show you how to create gradient text with Tailwind, and this works particularly well with nice headers like this. So that's pretty much what the end result is going to look like. Let's clear this out and start doing this from scratch. Okay, so we're using Tailwind Play here, which is a playground for working with Tailwind. Uh, by default, we'll see all this stuff here. So the first thing that we're going to do is, of course, just get rid of all of that. And let's just start things out with a div inside of here. I'm going to give this a little bit of margin just to pull it away from the edges. And we're going to create a header in here. So let's say a beautiful gradient header, which of course at the moment is not the case. It's just some text on the page. Now, what we want to do with this is add a background to this header, a gradient background to this header. Now we can do that really easily within Tailwind using the utilities that are available for us. So for example, I could say background gradient to right, or you can choose any direction you want. And then we just use the from set of utilities to choose the colors. So I'm gonna say from indigo and let's say 400, and let's say via purple, and let's maybe bump that up a little bit to 500 and then say to indigo and let's again bump that up to something like 600. So that's pretty much the gradient that we want but of course we don't want this to apply to the background we want it to apply to the actual text. Now we can't specifically do this with Tailwind we're going to have to create our utility using background clip to achieve this and I've got the documentation up for background clip here and we'll take a look at that in just a second. Let's finish up with the rest of the styling of the header so let's go and just give this a little bit of padding and say text 8xl make that quite big uh, let's go and set the text to center here and I think that's just about it maybe we could bump up the font to bold Great. So effectively what we want to do is take the background, this gradient, of the background of the header and clip it to the text. So to do this, we're going to come over to our CSS just here and we're going to go and create out a text gradient utility, if I can spell that correctly. So what we want to do is not just put this on the page, we want to bucket this under the Tailwind utilities. So to do that, we can use layer and place that directly inside of there and that's now become a Tailwind utility. If you need to find out any more information about this you can uh, jump over to the Tailwind documentation you can see here use the layer directive to tell Tailwind which bucket a set of custom styles belongs to so you can add them to the base component or in our case utilities. So now we want to talk about background clip. So the background clip CSS property sets whether an element's background extends underneath its border box, padding box, or content box. So effectively what we can do with this is for the text gradient, we can say background clip and set that to text. Now let's just try this out. If we head back over to our HTML just before the gradient that we set here, let's add in the text gradient. And you can see that because we've added that to Tailwind's utilities, that's picked it up really nicely. At the moment, it doesn't quite work. This has worked, but because this text has a color to it, it's not quite gonna work. So what we can do with this is use WebKit, text fill color, and set that to transparent. And there we go. So effectively what that's done is got rid of the fill color of the text. The background clip has now pulled the background onto the text rather than show this in the actual box surrounding the header itself and it's layered it on to the header really nicely and that's pretty much it so this is going to work not just for headers but any text at all so even if you were to bump this right down to the smaller size you can see that still applies and of course you can play around with the colors here as well as the direction so for example if you wanted this to go from left to right you could do that as well or to left from right you can do that as well as well as changing around the actual gradient itself using from, via, and to.